So yes. welcome everybody to LPOP 2020, the workshop on logic and practice of programming. So this is in conjunction with Splash 2020, completely online. So we're in the Splash 4 Zoom room from 10 to 16 o'clock Chicago time, which is seven hours difference from Paris. So let me first give a small uh, explanation of what the purpose of the workshop is. So the first point is that formal logic is a fundamental discipline for computer science. And since the development of logic programming in the 60s, logic has seen a growing practical role. So in terms of languages, implementations, also uh, using for specification and other purposes. So as well as software as in theory. And the purpose of LPOP is to bring people together that are in different parts of computer science that are using logic but maybe they will have different insights. Maybe they will have different approaches, different ideas. So we want to have some kind of a cross fertilization between the different areas. So in this workshop, we have four invited talks, five presentations by authors of people who submitted composition papers and three discussion panels. Uh, I want to make a small comment, a practical comment. So there were some software problems with the, the over, of coupling Splash uh, software. So if you look at the program times on the Splash website or on the LPOP, uh, the way it's presented on the web, the talk times are correct, but the session times, which is preceding each set of talks, are not correct, okay? So look at the talk times, they are correct. So let me uh, explain a little bit the program and the different kind of areas we will touch. So we have four sessions. So this is in some sense uh, imposed by Splash, but uh, so we have in our sessions, we have three panels. So we start by logic for program specification and analysis. So we will have first an invited Q and answer session by, with Leslie Lamport hosting, and then a talk by Richard Waldinger and a talk by Patrick Cuzo, and then a panel where people can argue about logic and program specification. There's also breaks, small 10 minute breaks between the sessions. We have uh, asked several people to host these breaks. They are very, very free and informal. So in the first break, it's Michael Loischel and Jorge Lobo who will be hosting that. And then there's a second session on logic and AI and machine learning, a third session on logic and implementation and tractability and a final session on logic and language expressiveness. And in each of those sessions, we have put invited talk and talks that are related to the topic. And in session three, there's a panel on logic and AI. So given the, given the current success of machine learning and deep neural networks, well, we want to discuss on what is the role of logic in AI. And finally, logic and language expressiveness. So there are many programming languages based on logic. Logic. Okay, somebody has uh, is making an echo. I'm not sure. Everything. Most other people's microphones should be muted. Uh, so, so there's a lot of programming languages that based on logic that have a logical semantics, constraint programming, but also controlled English and other kinds of systems, and. A lot of good things are claimed for these languages, and there's going to be a panel discussion on, since they are so good as we claim, why aren't they actually pervasive? So that will be the final panel. So that's how things are organized. So the first session will be hosted by Annie, and the second by me, and the third by Annie, and the fourth by me again, and all the panels will be moderated by David Warren. So, a final word before we start. So it looks very simple, but I know a huge number of people actually were involved in organizing this workshop. So Annie, David Warren, and myself organized the contents and of the workshop. Uh, Matthew Castellano, Paul Fodor, and Tunke Techly, the practical matters, the Zoom, and so on. Also the splash organizers, Jan Vitek, Fridesh, Rajan, Elmer von Chastelet, the program committee with a number of people in there, and also the people who were so nice to accept to be in the Ask Me Anything breaks. So those are the little 10 minute discussions in between the different sessions. 
So, so that's all for my introduction. I think we can now go into the first session. So I will stop sharing the screen and give control back to Annie. Uh, by the way, if there's any comment, uh, please uh, speak up if you have any question or comment. Annie? 